pretty sure everybody knows. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that that mud duck in New Mexico doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm pretty sure everybody out here on Channel 19 can take a look at uh, a channel up and a channel down. And they can go around the band and they won't hear my signal. They don't know what he's talking or he doesn't know what he's talking about. And they can all see my signals clean. Ain't no doubt about that. I don't want to come out here and start a war on 19. And I know people say, well, why are you keying up here? Because that son of a gun, 163 hard drive, won't shut his gosh darn trap. So I'm going to get out here and shut it for him. That's all. So anyway, I'll take care of everybody on 19. Have a good day. Tell 163 hard drive, go back to the 38 and badmouth me wherever he wants to go. I don't care. But just tell him I know he's out there and I he's, he's, it's just a matter of slander. It's a matter of defamation of character. It's a matter of false information. And he's got to put down all the other technicians and even people who are not technicians, i.e. myself. I'm not a tech. I am not a tech and I don't work on radios for people. Uh, I'm not a repair shop and I don't sell snake oil. I, i.e. when you buy a radio from hard drive, you got a radio that sounds like a box stock radio. I'm not sure what you want to sound like. If you want to sound like a real radio or you want to sound like a box stock radio. But when you buy a radio and you spend a whole lot of money for a tech to go through and make it all really top shelf, you'd think you'd get something. But instead you get a peanut whistle that sounds like it come out of a doggone Cracker Jack box. And he says he'd done something to it when he hasn't done a doggone thing, but he takes your money. And he'll hang up on you if you badmouth him. And uh, so anyway, and he makes you good YouTube videos. Uh, they're all full of beans and BS and misconstrued garbage. Anyway, I, I know he's out here, so I thought I'd drop a hammer on him one time. And that's right, this is Motormouth Mall out here on the central coast of California. Y'all take care. I'm back out. Bye. Bye-bye-bye. You dropped. You dropped that mall on that uh, Motormouth Mall. You dropped that mall on that uh, Six, seven. Ten four and dropping the mall on that duck. Four ten and dropping the mall on that duck. He doesn't stand a chance. He can get out there with his little. You know what? I, he called me on the telephone to ask me questions about what to do with this Ghost Rider amplifier, how to feed it, what it wants, how to tune it, what it, what to look for, all that stuff. I never asked him for help. Period. I fought with him on the phone about various different topics, and up until the time that he started picking on me on the air. And telling people that I was a splatter box, which, by the way, you can you can listen for yourself and look at your S meter right now, and then look at your receiver and move off the channel and see what's going on. But uh, until he started doing that, we agreed to disagree. But uh, the only time that I ever asked him for any help whatsoever was for a, he sent me a little envelope full of used transistors, uh, pulled transistors out of radios for a project that I was going to work on. That's the extent that he's ever helped me. Otherwise, we've had a long, boring conversation multiple times where we had to disagree because he thinks he thinks uh, radios need to be one way. And I think a radio should be a person's hobby to be treated a different way. And I know that if I bought a radio and took it to a shop to have it worked on so that I would perform better, I would want, I would want my radio to sound more like mine than his. And he, he makes gates, and he uses other people's gates, and he finds things that are out of context. And he repeats them, and he loops them, and he plays them, and he takes them, and he misconstrues what's going on in the real world. He tells you he's using NIST calibrated equipment when it really doesn't make any difference as to whether your scope is NIST calibrated or not when you're checking percentage of modulation. Oh man, what a winner. Anyway, I don't, I don't, I, I wasn't planning out here to badmouth him. I didn't come on the radio to badmouth him, but when I found out he was badmouthing me, well, tell him, well, hey, you don't have to tell him anything. He knows what's going on. Motor Mouth Mall, your West Coast beast, right there, right now, Breaker. Hello out there on Tennessee. You've got a mall down out here, Breaker. Well, I appreciate you saying hello out there from Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You smoking out here? Good day to you, and I hope everything's all well as well. Got your stack of bricks. Motor Mouth Mall cruising right there, right now. Yeah, for a good buddy, huh? <laughs> Go take yourself a little break, man, and cool down a little bit. I don't want you to get mad there, partner, Roger. Right, 10 Ford. Well, no, I ain't really mad. <laughs> I don't think.
think uh, I don't think he would like to see me mad. Uh, not that I would make anything more uh, uncomfortable or discomfort, uh, discomforting out here in the band, but I guarantee tell you, he would not like to see me mad. Anyway, I'm going to have a, a good day, regardless of whether that mud duck's here. He's probably, he already probably left the channel. He's probably up on 38 now, bad-mouthing me on 38. He gets out there and he, he, he bad-mouths derail, he bad-mouths all the other screw, uh, 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 screwdriver, he bad-mouths uh, Dave White up there, he bad-mouths me, he bad-mouths anybody. Because he doesn't have the confidence in his own abilities to make a radio work well. He has the ability to make good YouTube videos. He has the ability to take your money. He has the ability to talk smack about other people. He, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff you expect from a dog on uh, X. Oh, I ain't gonna even say that. That's 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 bad. That would be stupid to his level. But anyway, I, I just don't think his antics are all that great. But that's okay. That's the way. He, you know, he's not really any better than that uh, that guy out there in Florida. What's his name? Oh, uh, Blue Thunder, the, uh, the the guy who stole the mold litter from me and, and calls it his own as a as a ass wipe. I mean, whatever you like, ass, ass a mod, ass mod. Anyway, yeah, he's no better than that. They're both in the same doggone boat. Let me get my knees up in the breeze. Me and this great big old spider box. 200% positive peak modulation. Watch the video gate. Look at the video gate. Look at the video gate at MMMM video gates. On YouTube, and uh, take a look at the um, take a look at the uh, the spectrum, and I'm going to go off frequency here, and I'm going to make it so you can hear what's going on on the SDR. So I'm not going to hide anything. I'm letting you see the entire spectrum. I'm going to let let you hear the entire spectrum. There's the entire spectrum right there on the uh, SDR receiver, and now I'm going to change frequency. Except for the channel I'm on, Motormouth Mall Cruising. I got down, breaker, breaker on the mountain.